Hi guys, welcome back to Window Shopping. So today we're going on Pretty Little Thing, which is a store that every single plus-sized fashion blogger I follow on Instagram never stops talking about, but I have never so much as visited the website of. Well, here I am on the website because one of these plus-size influencers I follow posted a picture in this dress, and the minute I saw it, I was like, okay, um, I definitely don't think I need to own any other clothing. I don't know who at wherever this dress was designed has a personal vendetta against me and then made this dress, but I will find them and I will press charges. I need this. Although I don't understand why this is so popular nowadays. Why do so many dresses have this like ruche? What is this? I mean, it's ruching. I just said that, but like why? Anyway, I decided I would look at the rest of the plus size dress offerings on Pretty Little Thing and see if, okay, well, this is just the ugliest goddamn dress I've ever seen in my life. What is that even supposed to be? It, it looks like a body cast. Okay. Wow. Is this just like an oversized sweater with a frill sewn to the bottom? Cool. Let's see if we can figure out which model they give the ugliest clothing. I wonder if it works sort of like an internship, like the longer you model for them, the cuter the clothing they give you gets. But if you're a rookie, they give you the goddamn Hanes men's t <laughs> sweatshirt with a dust ruffle sewn to the bottom. At what point does a garment cross the line from maxi dress into full body sleeve? Ma'am, this is just a cylinder. Why do you want your entire body to be engulfed by fabric? I'm not really... The intent is not really clear to me. This is horrible. This this whole style of clothing, I'm, I realize you can't see it because this is a screen recording, but I'm like waving my hand exaggeratedly at my laptop screen. This whole era of clothing with like the built-in corset where everything just kind of looks like, I don't know, a BDSM sweatshirt. I don't really get it. I know it's very popular among the youths and the young influencers. Uh, it's not for me. Another one with the Renaissance print, but this, th this is, this dress is imaginary. Ma'am, if you don't go to the nearest Goodwill men's section and get this exact garment for $4, boyfriend tea. Okay, that's, I find that offensive. I'm sorry. <laughs> Are you a mad scientist that only experiments on jeans? Denim shift style dress. Don't they mean genum? <laughs> gift gile dress this is horrible to behold with my eyes what we're going to learn about myself throughout this video is that a lot of ma the massachusetts puritan energy has rubbed off on me in the way that i dress in that when something is this cleavagey i just like i me me and my own body i'm not trying to like make a sweeping generalization about other people me, I like when both of my boobs are all of the way inside of my shirt. I think that's because I spent so long with just excruciatingly large breasts that it was kind of not always guaranteed when I wore something low cut that my breasts would stay inside of the garment for however long I needed them to. So when I see something like this or this or this or I'm sure this or even this, all I see is a liability. Ticking time bomb. You know what I mean? Also, this is not a dress. This is a blouse. Where are you wearing this is my question. Where are you? This is lovely, but this model looks good and everything. I was going to clown on this dress, but then it's like, if you get invited to an 80s themed prom party, all you have to do is pop open pretty little thing, scoop this up and you're good to go. So again, what the root, like, what is this? Why does everything have this now? This like drawstring in the middle of the dress. This is pretty. This is pretty too. I'll give them that one. Why? If you pulled that taut, it's just, oh, I answered my own question. If you pull it tight, it's going to make the dress shorter and more low cut. I see now. I see now. Oh, we love fringe. I love a good fringe, fringington moment. Does that not get in the way? I feel like I'm so skittish that if I was wearing this dress and I felt like one of those little ties brush against my inner thighs, I'd be like, oh, there is a tarantula on my person at this moment. Perfect. Time to cut my legs off. Love that. This model always kind of seems like she's mid-sentence or like someone just told her something unfortunate. This is beautiful. Okay, hi, love that. I like this one because it is initially inspired by that whole like 
menswear, sort of like making a blazer into a dress or a jacket into a dress, but it's become so like bastardized that it's just a dress with an assortment of off-center buttons on it, <laughs> which is fun. This dress is fun because it looks like she was wearing a regular like tube top strapless dress and then a plastic garbage bag flew by in the wind and got caught in her like Fenty Beauty body lava on her arms and she's just like, you know, I can make this work. I'll just pull out my little knockoff Jacques Mousse purse and we've, we're good to go. Organza. <laughs> if you have big areolas, this dress is not an option for you. If you don't ask your uncle for a black button up, $55 for this. Also, what dress shirt has a pocket here? What is happening here? Were you wearing like a full length ball gown and then you got in a fight with like a ninja and you had to like dramatically rip the bottom half of your dress off and this one just stuck around a little bit? This one's fun because it looks like you're in a group. It's like, it's like, okay, picture this. Like you're in a sorority and all your sorority friends, your sisters are like, oh, we're going to be sexy soccer players for Halloween. And then Rebecca's like, oh wait, I don't have a soccer uniform. And they're like, Rebecca, you can be the ref. And then Rebecca just orders this dress from Pretty Little Thing and she's good to go. Good for Rebecca. Good for all of us. What is this supposed? This is like if you have the club at seven and a medieval execution at 7.30. She's also got a little knockoff Jacques Mousse bag and inside of it is like the hood to this that she puts on and then chops off the head of like a feudal lord who betrayed the king. What is this? <laughs> <laughs> oh god, this dress is an acid trip to look at. This is too much. There's too much happening because we have the lace, we have like the frilly down to here, the high-low situation, the panel here. Like I just, my brain short circuits when I look at this. When I look at this dress, my brain takes a screenshot. Probably the shortest dress I've ever seen, which is actually kind of unfortunate because I do like the idea of a vinyl dress. Like I do think that is like fun, but this is, this would be a belt on me. My god, that is short. There it is again! With the cross earrings too, like you literally look like a monk. Like <laughs> when you have brunch with the girls at 11, but you're wanted at the monastery at 11.30. Oh my God. Parlez-vous Francaise? J'adore cette chapeau, mademoiselle. I like this because it looks like she was wearing a regular dress and then something happened that destroyed the dress. And so it was one of those things that you see in cartoons where the main character needs to change their outfit really fast. So then they like grab some random passerby and steal their clothes. And in this case, she saw two people graduating from college in graduation robes walking nearby, yanked them into an alley. There were some like hilarious fighting noises. And then she walked out of the alley wearing this dress. This is either made of graduation robes or trash bags, or maybe both, which honestly recycling is good for all of us. So I can't really be too mad at it. Oh, this is cute. Of course, like the most conservative dress so far is the one that I'm like, oh, I would wear this. Oh, I like this one. But again, like it's so short. Again, like I'm not trying to sound like I'm judging people who wear short dresses. I love a short dress. I have amazing legs. I'll say it. God gave me amazing legs to make up for the fact that he killed my father when I was nine years old. So like, I understand wanting to show off your legs, but at a point it's less showing off your legs and more playing chicken with the concept of everyone in the general vicinity seeing your, you know, your Chico and the man. Like it's, <laughs> it's a liability, you know? It's a dangerous liaison. For a quick sec, I thought she was holding a Bible and I was like, you know what? Go off, sis. This looks like the losing garment on the third week of Project Runway. This is bravery, okay? This is courage. Oh, this model said that she wanted to bring some flair. Okay, I'm sorry, this is like the fifth shapeless black garment they've put this model in. What? Who is buying this? This one brings it, this model. This is like the third photo of her just absolutely being like, this is my moment, the spotlight is on me. I'm gonna say this in the nicest way possible, but the styling of this dress with this model, with this hair color, with this lip, she looks a little bit like a sexy hard boiled egg Halloween costume. Actually, you know what? Seeing this, seeing this one next to this one and this one is giving me kind of like a, 
um, sexy Easter group Halloween costume. And I don't hate it. This one too, this blue one up here, she can come order these dresses and then maybe get some like ribbons or some of that like Easter basket grass and put it in your hair. Am I alone in getting egg from this? The color of this dress is very eggly. Camel, okay. That's a weird way to spell egg pretty little thing. This dress is fun because it looks like you have four boobs. This model, what is, what, what should we name her? I feel like her name is Marisol. Bringing it. And like they gave her this like cool background with like the sculptures and whatnot. Whereas this girl, what does she have to deal with besides the despair in her expression? She's like, you guys couldn't have even given me one Grecian statue in the background to sell this goddamn sexy Christmas pageant nightmare of a dress. Really? That's why it's knocked down from $78 to 19. Did this model lose a bet? Like, who at Pretty Little Thing hates her? What is this even supposed to be? This looks like that same scenario I explained before, where she like yanks those two college graduates into an alley and steals their robes to make that other ugly dress. Except this time, instead of people graduating from college, it was just a group of sentient trash bags and she murdered them and made them into this dress. I also like that it has this like elaborate belting everywhere except the waist where it would make the most sense for it to be. How is this dress worse in a different color? Oh my goodness. Oh no, 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 no. $21 is too much. This should be $1. This should be free. Pretty little thing should pay you if you buy this dress. Oh my God. Why would anyone wear this? <laughs> I'm sorry, but like what? are we going for here? If you bought this and you paid $55 for it, I'm so sorry. <laughs> what is this? Oh no, oh, it's so much worse. First of all, I feel like chartreuse is a little bit greener than this. This actually might be the single ugliest dress I've ever seen on any website. I know I said that about that plaid dress from the Torrid video, but like this is worse. This is so, so much worse. I just like how this is on the more conservative side of dresses and it's just like pretty little thing. It's like the higher ups were like, hey, can you guys sell a conservative dress? Like maybe something that someone could wear to church, you know? And they were like, so this it's like i can just only imagine the people at pretty little thing that design the garments just after being told to make something conservative were just looking at pictures of nancy reagan and shrugging and they were like i don't i don't know what to do with this just just dye it the ugliest shade of yellow we have and give it to that one model that we hate she's like are you kidding me how much is she getting paid this model's only five seven good for her okay i like this dress Okay, good. They gave her something. They gave her a cute dress. Thank you. I was worried about her. My main girl Marisol absolutely holding it down every single shot. She is the star. She's a winner. That's all I can emotionally deal with right now. Goodbye.